wonderful occasion. And all week long, the football chatter has centred around this game and these talented teams. Which one will outwit the other in a packed and passionate stadium? So many questions to be answered on a day of destiny. Don't go anywhere. All the action coming up next. Hello everyone. Well, our venue today is a true football monument. I'm talking, of course, about the San Siro. I'm Derek Ray, and keeping me company here on the commentary gantry is Stuart Robson. And we've got so much to look forward to. This is where it all begins in Europe's Premier Club competition, the UEFA Champions League, the group stage, match day one action. It's Inter taking on Liverpool. Well, I'm looking forward to this one, Derek. It's so important that you get off to a good start. So let's hope both sides go for the win here and we get an exciting match. Martinez. Well, he really read that brilliantly. Inter's lineup is as follows. Jan Zoma is the goalkeeper. Alessandro Bastoni plays alongside Benjamin Pavard in central defence. Nicolo Barella plays with Henrik Mkhitaryan in the centre of midfield. And leading the attack today, Lautaro Martinez plays alongside Marcus Turan. No let up here. And the danger cleared. And this is how Liverpool will line up. Alisson begins in goal. Trent Alexander-Arnold starts with Andrew Robertson in the wide defensive areas. And in this tactical setup, they have just the one player in attack. To give them the advantage. Sends it back. He'll be delighted to have won the ball, having made that difficult challenge. And the focus is on Nicolo Barella with good cause, because he is the sort of player who can decide a game through his own efforts. Your thoughts on what we might see from him today? I would describe him as majestic when he's playing at his best. He glides past the defense. Oh, Stuart, they must score! And that, a piece of goalkeeping you're going to see again and again and again. Let's see about the delivery. You're not going to bamboozle the goalkeeper with a corner like that. Henrik Mkhitaryan. A meaty but fair challenge, and it will be a throw-in. Mkhitaryan Di Marco really is a lovely example of how to pass the ball it needs an accurate cross oh, good. and the penalty is given the referee right on the spot and now a chance for them to take the lead here well he's avoided a booking but the complaints continue and I can understand why I think it's a poor foul it should be a yellow card for me This to make it 1-0. And the penalty is converted. A goal it is. And now he can exhale. Well, here it is again. The keeper tries to read the penalty, but in the end, he just makes no effort whatsoever. That's a strange decision. Has restarted 1 0 here. Alexis McAllister. Luis Diaz. Here's Robertson. Well, it's a very attractive passing sequence. And Liverpool might be able to cash in.
Well, nearing the halfway stage, it's so far so good for the Nerazzurri. Stuart, time, I think, for your assessment. Yes, they've defended really well all over the pitch. Their work rate and discipline has been excellent. But any drop in tempo and this lead could easily slip away. Nicely timed tackle. Mkhitaryan on the move. Now he must favour the cross. Turam. He's in control of the situation. It should be! They keep plugging away. And he's made it a brace for himself. The defender's just unable to stay with him. And he's having a field day. Well, here it is again, and it's really poor defending. They just don't show enough urgency to get tight or make a block, which is why the ball's ended up in the back of their net. So back underway with the lead standing at 2-0. The stoppage time situation one minute here well the first 45 minutes have come and gone here at the San Siro well not really too many opportunities for Mo Salah to show us class in this game Stuart yeah he's not played well has he he's just failed to have an impact here mind you I think we could say that about the whole team he just hasn't looked like scoring today So underway in the second half, and no doubt about it, Liverpool need to raise their game. Delightful pass. And strong play here. Barella. It's with Chalhanolu. And he's won the ball. Liverpool in a position of menace. Robertson. And making the move to the inside. Now just the tackle that was needed. Martinez. Turam. Corner kick forthcoming. Here it is now, a substitution. And taken short. Turam. Opportunity here. Oh, the keeper made it look routine. It was anything but. So, half an hour remaining. Well, he stopped them in their tracks. Martinez. We can get more details on that injury situation from our man pitch side, Jeff Shreves. Jeff? Real concern for the Brents now, because it looks like he landed with his elbow underneath his body, and that's causing him some serious pain at the moment. Cheers, Jeff. Barella. Counter-attacking chance. Chalhanolu. Well, they need to get bodies back. Turam on to Martinez and a good challenge to bring that attack to an end 20 minutes remaining difficult to stop him Diogo Jota trying to open them up Robertson 
Now with Diaz. Very quick thinking there. Barella. And Inter could get in behind the defence. Marcus Tuham. And he did well to cut it out. On well, nearing the end of the game, Stuart, Inter in complete control. Well, they've controlled most of the game, haven't they? Their one and two touch passing has been sharp, the movement's been bright, and they've scored some good goals. They just need to keep their concentration through to the final whistle. Federico Di Marco. A textbook interception. Now, well, maybe room here for the counter attack. Luis Diaz. So, full time it is, and a morale boosting three points on the board to begin their European campaign. Yeah, it's so vital to get off to a quick start in these group stages. They'll be happy with the three points, but now they have to back it up in the next game. Six points and you're halfway there. And I suppose it's normal to have high expectations where Hakan Chananolu is concerned. 